Hi, this is Lauren Baker here at the Search Engine Journal booth at PubCon 2015 in Vegas. With me I have Jim Banks, the global head of Biddable Media for Cheap Flights. Welcome to PubCon, Jim. Thank you, Lauren. Good to be here. Good to be here with you guys at SEJ. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, uh, last time I saw you was in London at the SEJ Summit, I think. So what have you been up to since then? Uh, I think How since then I traveled to Australia, spoke at a conference down there, and uh, and obviously PubCon is probably the first show that I'll always put in my calendar when when I'm planning what I'm going to do in uh, in a particular year. So fabulous, fabulous. So you do a lot. Of, I mean, global advertising, right? So you're talking programmatic, uh, PPC bidding in multiple different countries. Using Google for the most part, or are you localizing uh, to? We, I mean, we, we localize in in some. I mean, we find that in certain countries, Bing will do much better than Google, even. Mm -hmm. um, but we get like decent volume. Um, but yeah, but but Google's obviously still the dominant player in most of the markets that we we operate in. So, what are you focusing on the most? Um, I think you had brought up programmatic is something that you. Yeah, really I mean, what, what we what we are trying to do is we're actually trying to reduce our dependency on Google. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm sure all, I'm sure right? everyone's trying to do the yeah. same thing, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, we're obviously trying to, um, to 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 focus more on sort of brand building, um, that sort of activity, but also trying to diversify away from what what has become very expensive auctions that we operate in in traditional PPC. So right. you know, we're, we're finding a lot more sort of success now with things like dynamic search ads. You know, whereas before we used to have a developer or a, a designer make you know, 12 or 15 different banner sizes, we can now use HTML5 with dynamic search ads and they'll create the ads for you from the oh, content wow. taken on a page, which, uh, you know, certainly cuts down the amount of time you actually need to produce your content. And then it's just a case of you optimize your campaign and the results on that basis. So in terms of breaking down, uh, kind of cutting off the Google dependency line, if someone's not searching for something travel or ticket related, how do you define intent when you're serving display or, or banners or whatnot, well, how I do mean, you know that? Okay, so so a lot of what what it is, it's based upon uh, people's interests and affinities, right? So, right. Uh, what we're finding now is that that a lot there's a lot more information for you know what what do 25 to 34 year old females do? Where do they go? Right? What sites do they visit? Uh -huh. um, what are their interests? You know, so for us, it's a case of yeah, travel is a very very broad category. What we're looking for is, well, what specifically are reasons are people traveling? So we'll look at things like, are they traveling to move jobs? Are they moving like house? You know, so if somebody has an interest in real estate, right. right, then the chances are they're looking at a particular location, maybe because they're looking to relocate because of their job, right? So we would t try and sort of build, a, build an audience around that particular interest. And obviously you can target holiday travel trends and, and things like that. So, so how much on Facebook with uh, uh, yeah I mean fa Facebook has become a, a it's, it's become a, a good source but it's also like a, co a complex source I mean we're, we're okay. doing a lot more mobile a okay. activities because probably 60% of all Facebook's traffic is now mobile right right so that's where the audience is um, so we you know we have to kind of go where, where they're um, they're doing so we're trying to move more people into installing our app because we feel that's a better experience for the users Gotcha. Right, which will mean that in theory they'll come back to us sort of over and over again, and it obviously reduces our dependency on Google because they don't need to go anywhere near a search engine. So it's funny how uh, apps reduce your dependency, yet there's always in-app search within Google, right? Of course, yeah. Bring the user there too, so yeah. it's, it's all it all interacts. Now, how about um, you know, I didn't know this until recently, but uh, you can buy ads on Skype utilizing Bing ads, yep. right? So I would imagine the international conversations and targeting via Bing ads on Skype. Do you ever dabble in that much? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we try and dabble in lots and lots of different places. Right. And, and, you know, I think as, as a company that spends a lot of money on traffic, we make more mistakes than most people do. And I think that's a lot of where you can succeed is by that's making learn, mistakes, right? right? Yeah. So what we're finding is that in some of the countries, you know, you know, we keep talking about mobile first. Well, in a lot of the countries that we operate in, it's almost like mobile only, right? There right. is no desktop, right? Yeah. Because the, the, the economy doesn't support that. So, or there never really has been. Right? Yeah, you know, places yeah. like India, the um, they went from kind of uh, having no internet at all to super sort of high speed internet. Right. You know, they invested in the technological infrastructure to give them the ability to kind of create cheap calls and you know high speed internet access, unlimited bandwidth. 
you know, which makes a huge difference to, um, to their behavior in terms of what devices they're using. You know, they're on mobile phones all the time. So, you know, for us, it's a case of, we'll look at where the opportunities exist for mobile, tablet, desktop, you know, on a country by country basis, so. What about any emerging countries uh, besides India or whatnot? That you're well, we're, we're seeing a lot more interest in some of the, um, you know, the countries in the Middle East. So places okay. like Saudi Arabia, the, you know, um, it, again, it, for, for us, we're, we're always kind of quite surprised when we see demand in countries that we never even thought of. So, right, right. you know, and for us, then we can decide whether we want to, to kind of focus more effort on, um, you know, expanding into a more sort of prominent profile in those markets. That's well, really cool, too, because not only do you seem to really love uh, biddable media, but you're also a man of the world. Yeah. Right? So you get to plan campaigns around what you love. Right? Yeah, and I, and I think sometimes traveling to other countries gives you an understanding of the behavior of the users of Absolutely. You know, your site and your app in, in those countries, right? So Absolutely. You know, I tend to spend time in coffee shops and just observe how people, you know, what device people are on, whether it's a tablet or a mobile, right. you know. Um, so I do a lot of watching over people's shoulders to see what's going on. <laughs> Where can we find you online, Jim? Uh, yeah. Well, you can find me on Twitter, at Jim Banks. Um, and obviously, you can find me through the Cheap Flights website. Absolutely. Yeah, this is Lauren Baker with Search Engine Journal, here with Jim Banks from Cheap Flights at PubCon 2015 in Vegas. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. This is Kelsey Jones, Executive Editor of Search Engine Journal, and I'm here today with Guy Kawasaki, Chief Evangelist of Canva. Guy, thanks so much for joining us. I know you did a keynote today at PubCon about personal branding yeah, and better, social media. The conferences I attended, the speakers were fantastic. The weather here has been amazing. I mean, this location, the hotel. The thing I'm really liking about the SCJ Summit is the three takeaways. Yes. Structure. Yes. I'm leaving with way more. I also like the single session format for conferences. I agreed to be a speaker here because I think above all else, the, the quality of people who attend the meeting. Something to be said about the fact that um, you can't just pay to come. Uh, it's by invitation only. What I really like about the speakers is that it's been very well-rounded. We focused on content generation ideas.